in a semi-forgotten hidden section of Brooklyn, quietly making some of the world's best whiskey. Kings County, located in the old Brooklyn Navy Yard, is to me a veritable booze paradise that if you ever visit, you will think you have died and gone to whiskey heaven. From its hauntingly beautiful cask room to its mad scientist tasting room, Kings County is immediately a feast for the eyes. Not to mention, they make some of the best award-winning whiskeys out there, period. While that's all well and good, to fully understand why this is my favorite distillery on earth and how truly epic this place is, you will require a quick history lesson. The New York Naval Shipyard at Brooklyn in its final hours, a massive, sad, and silent witness to a glorious past. It was one of the greatest shipbuilding and repair yards in the world. The Arizona, Missouri, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Independence, all took to sea from the Brooklyn Navy Yard. This is one of the first Navy Yards in the history of the United States, commissioned in 1801 by President John Adams. It has produced nearly every major ship that's helped the U.S. become a global superpower, employing tens of thousands of New Yorkers in the process, including a few of my own aunts and uncles during the war. That's my Uncle Johnny. It also is the site of the great New York City Whiskey Wars. All right, 1870. Scores of distilleries surround the area around the Navy Yard known as Irish Town, and they're producing thousands of barrels daily. Most of them refuse to pay this new, overly inflated post-Civil War liquor tax, and that's costing the government nearly $100,000 a day. Now, in the fashion of the time to attack your own country, President Ulysses S. Grant forms a battalion of 2,000 men from the Bureau of Internal Revenue. <laughs> that's right, an IRS army. <laughs> and on November 2nd, 1870, they sail into the Brooklyn Navy Yard and proceed to hack, burn, and demolish every distillery they find in what's later called the Whiskey Wars. The streets ran with moonshine whiskey, and eventually it became completely illegal to operate any sort of distillery in New York City ever again. That is until 2012, when a kid in East Williamsburg making illegal moonshine in his 300 square foot apartment gets word that the laws are changing, and he applies for the very first license, making Kings County Distillery the oldest in Brooklyn. Who is that guy? Guy, I'm Colin. <laughs> I got interested in distilling. Got a little still off the internet, distilled <laughs> illegally for a couple years. We were in a 350 square foot room in Williamsburg, very small, yep. but commercial distillery. From these really humble beginnings, Colin moved his operation to the very forgotten and defunct Brooklyn Navy Yard. He took control of the Paymaster Station, a beautiful two-story wood beam brick building as the main distillery, and later restored the two rook-like guardhouses at the entrance, converting one of them into a stunning bar unlike any other in the world. And the other? The other side, we did set up a distilling classroom where Anthony actually runs distilling classes. So people can learn how it's done on our smaller stills that Colin and David started the company on pretty wow, much. that's super fun. Yeah. Is that something you could do at home? Uh, not legally, <laughs> but um, that's why you could come here <laughs> and learn about it well, in a safe you. space. Yeah. Right. We'll talk in a few seconds. Right. <laughs> so. what, what's the risk? Is it the open fire or is it the is it's it a pressure? It's an open flame. It's the pressure. Yeah, it's like it's a boiler. Pressure at a highly flammable liquid. Right. Also, if you're making your cuts at the wrong time, yeah, you have potentially lethal liquid. chemicals. Yeah. Right. We had five of these. What Colin and David was started on when they were like doing home stuff. Right. Unbelievable that that's how it started, these two little guys. Yeah. This building's so cool. Is this a historic building? Is it registered? Yeah, for the original uh, gatehouses for the baby yard. These were built in 1895. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're bringing the history back. Because yeah. you're drinking history and you're sitting in it and you're hearing about it. And that's, that's a full experience. And that's what's so unique about this distillery. Visiting Kings County is like drinking through history. Not only do they make an award-winning product, collecting more gold medals than Michael Phelps, but they do it in the old style, using copper pot belly Scottish stills, open fermentation, and good old Brooklyn water, all while leaning into the history of their unique location. The exciting thing about Kings County operating in the Navy Yard is its uh, rich link to history. There's a lot that has happened here that has centered around the drinking culture of Brooklyn. 
We operate out of a building that was built in 1899 as our main production space, and we have a cocktail bar and a, a beautiful old guardhouse. And what's more, Kings County produces something that's pretty hard to find this far north, American vodka, better known as moonshine. And to find out what a distillery in Brooklyn was doing making moonshine, we got the lowdown from their head distiller, Anthony. And what is moonshine exactly? You know, really, it's it started out as anything kind of made illegally in the United States. What it boils down to now is basically unaged whiskey. Here we make our alcohol out of corn and, and uh, malted barley. We make a classic moonshine recipe. And how pure, quote unquote, is it? Like, what's it's the, not. It's not. No. Well, uh, when you say impure, it's, it's not a bad thing. It could mean like flavors are considered impurities. To have something that's just pure as you could get, that's vodka. But we use a, a pretty rudimentary style of still, so we're get, letting a lot of impurities, but there's a lot of flavor that passes. I can pull some off the still if you want to try. Yeah, it. let's do it. This is coming off at about 76%. I'm sure you're familiar with what vodka smells like, which is basically nothing but alcohol. Oh, there's definitely... It's not just sweet. alcohol. Mm. What else is Corn. Yeah, corn, right? Every time you distill something, you're getting uh, further away from the characteristics of the source material. It's got all sorts of weird terroir. Yeah. It also has yeah. smells of the yeast. It also has smells of the fact that we're using open fermentation. This is Brooklyn mash, yeah. Yeah, sure. Wow. This is this is Brooklyn moonshine, for sure. Thanks, Anthony. Sure, man. That was awesome, man. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. It. With our bounty in hand, we went with Gabby back to the tasting room so she could walk us through some of the different varieties of their award-winning elixirs. But first, a very pressing question had to be answered. Gabby, whose car is this? Uh, <laughs> that is Colin's car. Its name is Lisa. It's been with the company since probably its inception. Somebody heard about how he was making deliveries on his bike, maybe, or the subway. And this is a better option. Yeah, and they donated the car to the business, so we've had it for a long while. I love this building so, so much. I know. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. And, and it's a castle, so when the zombie apocalypse happens... Right. We'll be, we'll be pretty me. much safe. <laughs> so yeah, we wanted to talk to you about moonshine. Yeah. Moonshine could be a number of different things. So it's anything that's... It's basically an unaged spirit. So our moonshine is made on traditional Scottish pot stills. So they're sort of round and they allow for certain esters and different flavorful chemicals to come through. Mm -hmm. Whereas traditionally, vodka is made on column stills where the, the spirit itself kind of evaporates up through different plates and those plates strip away any of those esters that we want to keep in our moonshine. Will this make me blind? That's all I really care right. about. <laughs> a lot of people ask that and the answer is definitely no. But where that came from is that when people were illegally distilling their moonshine, they took parts of the, the still run that had chemicals that weren't that great in it. So you might have heard of heads, hearts, and tails that come off the still. So the heads and tails are the parts of the run that you want to avoid collecting. The hearts is the good stuff. So that's gotcha. where um, all of the right esters and chemicals sit. It creates like a sweeter spirit, basically. Great. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's yeah. dive in. Let's sure. See what it's all about. So I'll start you off on our distiller's proof moonshine. It is the 70% kind of right off the still moonshine. So it is a little bit more intense. I like that she starts with like the heavy hitter. Like the, oh yeah, no. Should yeah, it, maybe, it, maybe I shouldn't. No. <laughs> you know what, let's just try it. Yeah. It's just a sip, I would say. Yeah. Um, Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Already really feeling good. it. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually it's warm like a, and delicious. It's a grappa. Yeah. Yeah, it that's a what a lot of people say that yeah. our moonshine tastes like a grappa. It's it's fantastic. In fact, I put it up against a lot of the nicer grappas that are supposedly like some of the best. Yeah. It goes no. down like velvet. Yeah, it's warm. Warm. Seventy percent. Yeah. It's quite dangerous. How drinkable. Right. Yes. Exactly. So I good, would say so too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the forty percent is sort of what is what we actually sell. So it's the seventy percent, but it's been proofed down to forty percent. So it's even more drinkable, I'd say. Great. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, totally different. Same exact spirit, just different proof. I gotta say, I like the seventy. 
Really? It's like sputtery almost. Yeah, I mean, wow. I, was, I was just thinking like, I'd really like to have a little bottle of this yeah. for an after dinner drink. Do you guys want to try the rye for fun? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. So <laughs> again, this one's going to be a little bit spicier. Rye just in general is spicier. It is a little bit different, different mash bill. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Yeah. Our bartenders love infusing the rye the most. For example, our grapefruit jalapeno moonshine, he figures out the water content of grapefruits and tries to equate that so he gets it to 40%. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And we've actually had it um, tested in a lab and he's been pretty accurate with it, which this is, is kind of cool. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, like, can I hit it on the yeah. nail? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Running bets in the distillery. Right, right. right. You're doing grapefruit, jalapeno. Grapefruit, jalapeno. We have a chocolate whiskey. So that's taking chocolate husks from a local chocolatier called Rocka Chocolate in oh, yeah. Red Hook. Yeah, right by me. Huh? Yeah. 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 So we get their um, unroasted chocolate husks. We throw it in tanks of moonshine for about Three months, I would say, depending on the temperature. And then that's what the we sell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, of course. This was awesome. Thank yeah, you so thanks much. a lot. I'm going to finish these. Really? Yeah. Wow. What no, it doesn't sound like that. literally just what we do on the weekends. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds thanks, great. Man. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, of course. Your job sucks. <laughs> just got to drink every day, but. Are you hiring? <laughs> and while I wait for Kings County to call me back about a possible opening, I'm just so happy that they still have their doors open, allowing the whiskey to flow in and the history to flow out, having survived the pandemic in New York City, even helping to battle it in a way they only know how. Once COVID hit New York City, the distillers wanted to do something for the city and our community. One thing distillers can do is create sanitizer. So we dumped the kegs into our still, stripped that into kind of what would be like a whiskey spirit and turn that into hand sanitizer. I love beer that can give me so much joy by drinking it and then it also cures me of illness. Uh, exactly. It's the wonder drug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a two for one. Yeah. Oh, it is a wonder drug. And Kings County is one of the most wonderful places on earth to soak in some amazing history and delicious drink. Thanks for having us over.